Okay. Well, after about a half an hour of bushwhacking, I finally made it down to this sandbar. So, uh, the bugs are clearly in control here. I gotta put this back down. They're just everywhere in your ears and your nose and your mouth. I'm not getting bit, got good bug lotion on, but they're just obnoxious. So anyway, let's talk about fishing. So I'm here on this um, really nice outside bend of the river here. I was out in the Black Hills doing a lot of trout fishing and uh, hiking for a week, uh, but I'm back here in Iowa. It's good to be back. It's good to be back on this river. It's good to be heading out and uh, try and get some big catfish. So let's get going. So I got two kinds of bait tonight. First I got some uh, small little bluegills frozen, got a few of those, and I also brought some cut carp. So I'm going to try these bluegills first, see how that goes. So what I'm going to do with these uh, bluegills here, these tiny bluegills, is I'm going to do what's called a flapper. And you just cut one side, make a little fillet, flip it over. Another fillet. That's what you're left with. And this just, you know, flaps around in the current, opens it up, gives more scent. I've, seen, I've never tried it. I've seen other people do it. I think it's a good idea, so I'm going to try it. These head nets do work pretty good for keeping the bugs out of your face, but uh, it really does impair your vision, um, especially if you're in sunny conditions. You, you can't see uh, that great, and it gets kind of annoying. A lot of times I just like to uncover just my face but leave my ears covered. That way at least it keeps the gnats from flying in my ears all the time. So the gnats are only half as annoying, so better than nothing, I guess, right? With these head nets, though, they really do work best if you are wearing some kind of a hat. Um, and the reason why, if I'll show you, I put it on here. See how the bill of the hat kind of creates a little space here that hangs over my face like a curtain. And you need, you're going to want that because if you wear it without a hat, you can wear it without a hat, but... In my opinion, it's not as effective because um, basically this net is just right up against your face and the bugs can still get on there and, and they can bother you. So you need a little bit of a gap there with a hat. It can be a baseball cap like this or even a, a brimmed hat all the way around. I've worn it like that before too. Uh, so that's my suggestion if you're going to use one of these head nets. Is wear it on top of a hat. Gives you a little space there to breathe. I think I'm being messed with by a turtle. Something bit just bit the tail off. I do use one of these thermocell devices and uh, I like it. They, they do work. For mosquitoes, they work good. I'm not getting bit. Uh, I've used this quite a few times and it works pretty good for mosquitoes but it doesn't do anything for uh, the gnats that just fly around and bug the crap out of you the whole time. But it keeps the mosquitoes off you. I would highly recommend thermocell for mosquitoes. Since we're talking bug control, here's another uh, weapon in my arsenal. This is a Sawyer Picaridin lotion. This stuff is gold also. Put this on your skin. It's not greasy. It uh, doesn't smell bad. Um, and it works really good with mosquitoes, ticks, uh, all sorts of uh, most things. It'll, you, won't, you won't get bit if you wear this stuff. Um, it says, uh, I'm pretty sure it says on here it's safe for, it won't, it won't harm your fishing equipment or degrade your fishing line or any of that stuff either. So I know this comes in a spray also, but I prefer the lotion. Just, you just need a tiny little bit. Sawyer.
Definitely have a turtle on my hands here. I was uh, recently reminded on a, a video that I watched not that long ago. It was on uh, Slayer Mike's channel. Slayer Mike uh, Fishing, I believe is the name of his channel is. Look it up. He was using uh, vanilla to keep these gnats away. And I've used that before. It actually does work. I need to get another little... I used to carry a little bottle in my tackle box. But um, I could really use it for today because it's supposed to... Just the scent of it is just supposed to keep these gnats and, and things uh, away from you. So vanilla, just you just dab a little bit, you know, around. You don't need to cover yourself with it. But I've used that before. Vanilla uh, works pretty good for gnats, in my experience. I'm putting on some carp instead of the bluegill. It's a lot tougher. It's going to stay on the hook better, and maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll catch that turtle and bring him in here and scold him a little bit, and we'll start leaving my baits alone. I have used uh, the deep woods off and the the, the deep uh, stuff. Used that for a lot of years actually, and uh, it works. It certainly does work. Um, but I, I I just got tired of the the way it smelled and how greasy it is, and it just and uh, you know if I don't have to put deed on my skin why would I you know so I found that that picaridin works just as good in preventing bites um, and it doesn't have any of those negative uh, things that the deet sprays have of the smell and the greasiness and uh, and that so definitely check it out if you're interested in trying something new in the uh, bug repellent uh, area here's that either the turtle got full from eating my bluegills or he's not interested in the carp cut bait. But uh, besides the, uh, the repellent things that, I, that I've shown you, I mean, I, in my opinion, I think clothing is probably your best defense. Um, long pants, long sleeves if you can stand to wear them uh, in the summertime. Um, something like this, or a hat keep them out of your hair. Uh, clothing is is the best line of defense and uh, definitely the cheapest. Well I just lost another bluegill bait to the turtle. Uh, if anybody watching this has uh, some uh, suggestions as to aside from just picking up and moving to a different spot with some suggestions on uh, how to deal with these turtles stealing your bait all the time. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Well folks, I'm running out of filming light here. It's getting pretty dark, the sun's down. And uh, I'm gonna stay till, till it gets dark, but uh, probably gonna get skunked here. I don't know, all, all that's been biting uh, is turtles. So, uh, thanks for joining me on this fishing trip today. Hope you found the information about uh, the bug repellents useful. Uh, if you have any other ideas, something I didn't mention that uh, works good for you, uh, let me know. Drop it in the comments, and uh, yeah, let me know. But uh, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.